Welcome to the video tutorials of mechanisms by Mekanis Muller. The injector is one of the most ingenious inventions of the 19th century, invented by a Frenchman, Henri Gifford in 1858. If someone wanted to write a book about the steam locomotives he or she could dedicate a long chapter of the book to the steam injectors. With time, the use of this device has spread to different applications. If you know an application of this device feel free to write a brief description in the comment section of this video. Imagine for a moment that you want to pump water from atmospheric pressure to a boiler which has a pressure level of 10 to 15 times above the atmospheric pressure. Before the steam injector was invented cold water was pumped to a boiler by using steam reciprocating pumps. There are some problem with this solution. The first problem is that steam used to operate the pump discharge to the atmosphere, which reduces the overall efficiency of the locomotive. The second problem is that we are pumping cold water into the boiler which reduces boiler temperature. The third, but not the last problem, is that you have to maintain a pump that has many moving parts. The steam injector solves all of these problems in one simple and ingenious design. The sketch you see here is not a proportional technical drawing but just an animation, which puts emphasis on the injector and makes the other parts, such as the boiler, disproportionately small. Here is how the steam injector works. Steam is taken from the boiler and delivered to the injector with high pressure and low velocity. This flow is indicated, in this animation, by using a red background with white dots to show the direction of the flow. This flow is directed to the converging diverging steam cone shown here. Where the cones are converging the steam velocity is increased to the speed of sound. At the diverging section, the pressure is further reduced and converted to kinetic energy where steam is moving faster than the speed of the sound. By the time the steam leaves the steam cone, the speed of the steam is much faster than the speed of sound but the pressure is below atmospheric pressure. This flow is shown with light red background. The low pressure created at the exit of the steam cone causes the water in the reservoir to be sucked into this vacuum chamber shown in the blue background with water flow. The steam leaving the steam cone with high velocity enters the combining cone. It is called the combining cone because the steam is also sucking large amounts of water from the reservoir. During this combining process the steam begins to condense and the water begins to get warmer. This mixing and condensing flow process is shown with the purple background. During the combining process, the speed of the water is increasing due to the hammer effect of the steam jet, but steam was disappearing from the flow by condensing as water. Further narrowing the combining cone increases the speed of this water. This flow is shown in light blue. The water jet leaving the combining cone is pushed into the delivery cone. It is called delivery cone because it leads the flow toward the boiler. Before the water reaches the boiler the flow velocity is reduced due to diverging shape of the delivery cone. The reduced speed increases the flow of pressure above the boiler pressure and this allows the feed water to be delivered to the boiler. This flow is shown as the sky blue background. What lays in between the combining cone and the delivery cone is an overflow chamber. Adding this chamber into the steam injector was the ingenuity of the steam injector's inventor Henri Gifford. This chamber and overflow pipe allowed the excess water to be sent back to the reservoir and preventing to the steam injector to choke, especially when it is starting to operate the first time. It allowed the injector to operate smoothly. As seen here, the steam injector's operation can be interrupted by turning the valve manually or automatically off. This will cut the flow of steam to injector off and in turn the water flow from the reservoir will stop. During this time, the check valve, shown here, 
will prevent the boiler water to escape to the reservoir. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.